Today's secret word is tiger. So when you hear the word tiger, make sure you scream as loud as you can so your mommy hears you. <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pony Lawson, and I'm here to critique your tattoos. This week we're critiquing more artist submissions as we've got a lot of those emails being sent in. That being said, I also want to thank you guys for sending in all these submissions and trusting me with talking about your tattoos. We're trying some new stuff on the channel as well. If you'd like to check out that link, we've got a little vlog style uh, with a Gwen Stefani micro portrait process that's kind of cool. I break down, you know, what I do and the needles I use and things like that and a little bit of how I make the stencil. So uh, yeah, check that out while you're here. And let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like me to dive deeper into or talk more about. This is for you after all. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I share my favorite and least favorite tattoos, or as we like to call it, First up, we have Rebecca Louise. Rebecca sent in a couple tattoos. First of all, we're gonna talk about this portrait of not sure whom, I'm sure y'all can tell me in the comments. Uh, there are a few things I'm gonna break down and talk about and tell you some things that I maybe would do slightly different, but uh, overall, I like this tattoo a lot. To me, this hair is exceptional. I love the way you executed this hair, all these fine little lines that run through it. It, it really leaves me wondering how you did that, and I like the mystery of that. You know, I can't quite tell if it was with a liner or with a mag. I'd like to say it was with a mag because of all these consistent lines that are grouped together, and if it is a mag, uh, well done. That, that's a, I think that's a rather hard thing to accomplish with a mag. There is a part of the hair that I would have liked to see more texture in, and that's the left side where all that black is. I don't think the black on that part of the head is black enough to really sell that it's uh, very dark or sitting in shadows, and I'd like to see some of that texture that you brought into the right side of the hair over to the left side of the hair. I would also like to see the use of more line work throughout the tattoo, kind of how you have inside and around the eyeballs. I'd like to see that on other places as well. For instance, the hand and maybe the palm of the hand where it's sitting upon his chin, it just kind of gets a little too soft on his palm area, and I think that should be a little bit sharper, especially since it's sitting in front of everything else. The top edge of the tattoo, I feel like I can almost see that border a little too much. I feel like you may have put that in there with a liner and didn't shade enough off of that to where I can still see the straight line across. I think if you were to kind of shade away from that top part of the line, the top part of the edge, it would just make it a little bit more believable and I wouldn't see that line so much. It's kind of the same on the bottom too, a little more believable on the bottom because you have a little bit darker shades to work from and the wrinkles of the shirt and things like that kind of help blend that line a little bit more. So I'd like to see more of that uh, on the top as well. The tip of the nose kind of seems a little sharp. You know, maybe over did a, a little bit with that shading there, kind of soften that up a bit. And again, kind of using that outliner around things like the, the tip of the nose, around the fingers where they're hitting the face and things like that, put an outline around there to help sell the idea that the fingers are sitting on top of the face and not blending into it. Same thing, it could be said about the jaw, the, the right side of the jaw. I can tell that you kind of did that with a mag to give it a nice soft feel, but I think it would be beneficial for you to just use a soft liner just to kind of give it a nice edge. Again, I want to kind of circle back to that hair because I think this is my favorite part of the entire tattoo. I think you did a, an exceptional job with that hair and you know, I would like to see more people do things like that as well. You also sent in another tattoo of these flowers on the side of an arm. Again, I really like this tattoo a lot as well for similar reasons why I like the hair the other portrait. I, I like these um, these thin lines that run throughout the entire piece. I like the composition. I like the flow. I like how it's not overdone. I think this is just the right amount of lines, the right amount of shading, the right amount of black. We've seen some other flowers in uh, previous videos on this series that they didn't quite nail the shading. You can really tell that you know what you're doing when it comes to building the shape of these petals and leaves. Uh, as we get closer to the center of the flower, uh, you know, you've got the shadows in all the right spots and, and even the petals themselves, you have all the right curvature in these lines to where it's not making these petals feel flat. Excellent job. So thank you, Rebecca, for sending those in. I really appreciate you. Next up, we've got Tattoosaurus Rex. I don't know your real name. You didn't leave it with me, but the word is going to call you uh, T-Rex. So T-Rex, you sent in this tiger tattoo. That's <laughs> great. No, overall, I, I like this guy. I like this tiger. He's very vibrant. I like the colors that you chose with this. I do wish there were more dynamic colors to this. 
What I mean by that is more browns to complement the orange and like maybe more dark purples to complement the light purples. Let's give it some more dynamic range, okay? Uh, because we do have a lot of very, very, very bright oranges in this tattoo, but I don't think we've got a lot of like deeper tones to set off those bright colors. I like the green glow you've got in the eye. I also think it would have been nice if you put just a little dab of darker green in there, maybe some olive or something like that, just to really make those eyes glow. Also the leaves, I feel like the leaves might have a bit too much yellow in them. It's always nice to see you when you introduce other greens or you know like some swampy colors to those leaves as well just to kind of make them look like they're dying. The solid yellow's not bad, it's just you know little things like that would kind of help take it to the next level. I, I enjoy the textures that you've got in the black above the eyes. I would have liked to seen those textures throughout the side of the face, the top of the head and things like that as well. The purple's not bad. I would have, however, liked to have seen a different shape or some sort of, you know, direction that this is carrying. Similar to the shape that you have coming out of the eyes, maybe if you would have done something like that behind the tiger with the purple, that would have been really cool. Yeah, and another thing is, I'm not sure if it's the camera or just the way that it may have been edited, but it seems like it's a little too blurry on the outside edges of this. And I would have liked to see the entire tattoo as clear as possible, right? So if that's a camera issue, maybe just lower that f-stop a bit, you know, let, let, let's see some more clarity. Thank you much, T-Rex. <laughs> Next up, we've got Alper, and wouldn't you know, Alper sent in a tiger as well. <coughs> this tiger seems a bit smaller than the one we looked at previously, but uh, let's just get right into it. I like the colors that you're using, but it doesn't seem like there's a very strong foundation. And what I mean by that is uh, the lines that's used around the tiger, the lines that are used inside the tiger, and more importantly, the bamboo that's peeking up behind the tiger's head. The bamboo itself kind of just looks out of place. It just kind of looks like it's coming out of his head right now. Uh, and also it kind of just looks rushed. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of strength going on in the bamboo. And maybe it kind of just seems like you worked for a long time on the tiger itself, and then kind of got a little tired when it got to the top. Uh, maybe this is something that you could have added another day or just left out completely because the tiger itself doesn't look bad with a blue streak behind it. If you did want to add that bamboo, I would maybe say to get rid of that blue streak behind it and add some bamboo on either side of it and make it a lot more strong, make it believable, you know. Just because it's sitting in the background doesn't mean that you don't have to use a liner. You could use a round shader or something like that, but just make sure that it's got a good foundation. The leaves just look almost uh, too soft, and a lot of them, especially near the top, are just gonna disappear altogether. It maybe looks like you added a bit too much at the bottom of this tiger, or not enough. It, it doesn't necessarily look like you use an animal that would be walking on four legs. It kind of seems like he might be standing up, uh, ready to go work out or something. But overall, it kind of would have been nicer to see a little bit more liner work throughout this tattoo, just a bit more texture, things like that. I like the colors, I like the oranges you've got. Again, more liner work to maybe help sell that other side of his cheek uh, because right now it kind of just disappears into the rest of his body. Thanks Alper for sending that in. I appreciate it. Next up is Zach Hayden. Zach sent in two hands from the creation of Adam, part of a much larger painting by Michelangelo. Yeah, I mean, I like this tattoo. It's not very big, but it's got all the right elements to it. Um, the blue and the pink work well off each other, the nice contrasting colors, and the simplicity of the two hands in front of it work really well. It's got that nice like 80s, 90s Miami Vice, uh, you know, sunset feel to it, uh, which is super groovy. I probably would have left out the white or made sure that that white was really bold and perfect, you know. The, the white around the top of the left hand looks pretty good, but you kind of lose it when it comes to the right hand or underneath the left hand. Uh, it just got a little bit sloppier. So you may have been better off without putting that white in there at all or really commit and make sure that that white is as solid as you can get it in there. If I were doing this, I would have made the hands a little bit more realistic, but the hands look fine as they are. This is just if I were doing them, I maybe would have added a little bit more shadows around the spots of the fingers where you can see the outline. But overall, solid tattoo. So thank you, Zach. I appreciate you. Next up, we have Sean Lewis, and you can find Sean's work at Sean Lewis Tattooer. Sean, you sent in this really cool Deadpool tattoo wearing a unicorn hat. Uh, I love this tattoo. I think it's really cool. I think the idea is awesome. And with Deadpool tattoos, you always have a lot of room to play around and have fun with it. I would have liked to see this tattoo a little more clear. And again, I don't know if that's um, a camera issue or if that's just something that was done post picture. If your photos are getting blurry like this because of your camera, maybe just bump that f-stop down a little bit, you know, maybe like 3.5 or so. Get away from 2.8 just so we can see a little bit more of the tattoo and you're not blurring out the skin. Either way, cool tattoo. I like the use of the gray wash outlines in this, especially when it comes to the eye of the unicorn. I wish a lot more people would use gray wash outlines because I think that they can really help with contrast. You know, when you're using uh, two light tones next to each other, they can sometimes bleed together. So the use of a gray wash outline can really help with that contrast. The colors work well with each other. You know how to balance the colors, the pale blue, the pale pink, and the yellows, uh, and the purples. 
and I like the little textures that are running through his glove and in the face of Deadpool and things like that. The lines to the unicorn, uh, I like the contrast of the texture of everything you've got going on here. Yeah, it's just a really fun tattoo to look at. And Sean, you also sent in this tiger tattoo cover-up. <laughs> Solid job with this tattoo, solid job with the cover up. I can't see the old tiger anymore at all. I like the blacks that you used in this, they're very solid. The whiskers are very bold. I would have liked to maybe see some darker green in the background by the whiskers on the right side, just so they're not so light, you know, right next to the whiskers. And maybe a little more true oranges. You know, you've got some browns running through here, but I would like to see some bold oranges as well coming through this piece. And also maybe some line work or just some edges on the leaves to the left just so it makes it more believable that these leaves are sitting in front of the tiger's face. Overall, great work, Sean. I appreciate you. So it's been really tough to pick out my favorite and least favorite tattoo because we've seen a lot of good tattoos this session. But that being said, I think my favorite goes to Sean Lewis. Sean, uh, very rad tattoo. I love the composition uh, of everything you've got here. This thing just pops. It's going to get attention. You know, if somebody walks by with this on their arm, people are gonna wanna look. So uh, excellent job again, Sean. And this week's toilet tattoo goes to Alper. Alper, I'm sorry to make you this week's toilet tattoo. It's not a bad tattoo at all, but I feel like we've just had a great group of artists this week. So it's unfortunate that you happen to be in a group of really good tattoos. Because like I said, it's not a bad tattoo at all. You just happen to land in a, a group with nothing but good tattoos this time. So congratulations. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when we put out another video. Also, don't forget, if you want to see your tattoos on a future episode, you can send them to ponycritiques at gmail.com, and hopefully we'll see them on a future episode. Tiger. Ah!